We're here fishing in Revelstoke, British Columbia, on the Columbia River for the mighty bull trout. This is a river system that I've wanted to fish for a lot of years, and finally we've been able to make this trip happen. We're being hosted by the Sutton Place Hotel Revelstoke Mountain Resort, which is located about 10 minutes from downtown Revelstoke. We're gonna be fishing with Gibbs Delta Pro staff, Chad Deschamps. Chad is a lifelong resident of Revelstoke, and he has been fishing bull trout his whole life. He's known as a passionate angler and bull trout whisperer. I'm super excited to get on the water and experience this fishery and learn from him. After a great sleep at the Sutton Place, it was time to meet up with Chad at the boat launch and discuss a game plan for the day. Chad, let's talk a little bit about strategy today. I think today, just with the experience that I have on, on the river, um, we'll fish with the water level low, we'll do some trolling, and then once the flow comes up, we'll probably set up and get some fly fishing in. Yeah, so we've got a couple different methods, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of your traditional gear fishing, yeah. trolling, trolling, and then possible opportunity to target them fly fishing. You betcha. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I know uh, over the years, this is kind of a unique fishery in a sense where, you know, these fish hold in certain areas and, and uh, you know, we're not going to give away all our secrets, but I, no. I, I'm really curious to, to learn this fishery and, and excited to uh, target these bull trout because they are really aggressive is, fish. It is, yeah. No, it, it's a great fishery right now. The bullies, they've come out of the spawn. They're gonna come in here. They're gonna make their way back to the headwaters, ready for winter time and, you know, feed. And that's why we're in here. We're gonna chase them. They're gonna be an appetite that uh, they wanna get back to the headwaters and yeah, we'll hopefully get on something good. Awesome. The water's pretty clear here. Is it pretty steady like that all the way down? Yeah. Yeah. So once we get down around six mile, it opens up. So you have the seam and mm -hmm. then you have your main channel. So this is gone now. The main channel's actually gone now just because of the new turbines that they installed with the dam. Really, eh? Yeah, so it's kind totally of... Totally changes the river. It, it does, yeah. Cool, well, let's go. All right. Let's get after it, hey? I'm excited to learn this fishery from Chad because I've never trolled a river. And I know Chad's been doing this for a long time and he's actually dialed right in on what you need to do in order to be successful to catch these aggressive bull trout. Now some of the things that stick out in my mind are the lure size. These bull trout are predators and they ambush other fish. So fishing large spoons, which, you know, sometimes you're sitting there thinking, really, are those, are those gonna work? But when you see a bull trout for the first time or a good sized bull trout, the actual size of their mouth and what they can actually ingest and feed on is mind blowing. So the plan, what we'll do is we'll hit the, uh, just the seam right there. Yeah. And we'll follow it down and then we'll end up crossing over, like getting them on the swing basically. Like we'll, you'll see what I mean once it opens up down there because yeah. we don't have much choice because we'll either fish in four feet of water, 10 feet of water, or 20 feet of water. So pretty shallow overall. It, it is overall, yeah. yeah. How do you, do you fish with like poles or is it just? Yeah, I just, I just let it go. Just let it go. And then I, you know what I mean? I guesstimate yeah, yeah. a couple hundred feet or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So. And I just let it out slow though, kind of, like, cause it hits the bottom like hit and it might snag. Yeah. So. I'm real excited to learn about this fishery because I've never like actually trolled a river. Right. So this is something unique, it's right? unique. The water, I'm amazed at how clear the water is for yeah, a river. Like I'm used to the lower mainland, like the Fraser, right? right. And you always, it's obviously very silty and... We get a little bit of silt coming out of the yellow silhouette after a rainfall, yeah. but what's nice is you can pick, eh? You can sit on that side or be in the clear water, right? Right. So, and bullies, they like fast water, you know, and then they, so it's, it's one of those things where if we're getting lots of action in the fast water, then obviously we'll stay up here. If they're in the slack water and they're going into little bays and stuff like that, then that, that'll be us, you know, finding out. Right, and they're such an aggressive, like, predatory fish, right? Oh. So they're just opportunistic, any... Exactly. ...really fine bait fish, right? And you yeah. should find them. Yeah. There we go. That's a fish. Okay. Yeah. That's a fish. Okay, it's just you and the fish, then, like, I'm All right. Staying down, eh? Yeah, he's just hunkered down. Oh, I think he might have popped. No, he's there, he's coming at us. I was gonna say, he's gonna... Scared push. me, dude. If you need me to speed up, though, you let me know, okay? No, you're good. He's slowly going out, right? Yeah. 
slowly moving out. It's funny how these fish use the element to their advantage when they can, right? Yeah, like, exactly. I'm gonna kind of get the boat yeah. over that way for you. There's the egg, there's the weight. See him here. In this, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a nice fish again. Yeah. You just let me know if you want me to kill it, okay? Yeah, I think you're good. He's just head shaking. Oh boy, head shaking. Oh, what a nice fish. He's just got his head buried, eh? Yeah. All right, well, let's see if he's gonna turn on us. Get him, bring him to you. Oh, oh that's a pretty looking yeah. fish, dude. He's gonna go around. Go around. Yeah. He's about to go straight down. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a pretty fish. Oh, get his head up here. Oh, he's not quite ready. Oh, come on, buddy. Ready? Not this way. Not quite yet. Go. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on. <laughs> nice, right on. dude. That's a nice, nice fish. healthy male. Oh, my heart's pumping. He did not want to come up, hey? No. Like, he just He's, wanted he to wanted bury to his head going. straight down. That was cool. That's a, oh, that's my personal best bull trout, man. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at him, he's, he's got his little bit of a kite yeah. left. He does have a bit of a kite on him. Do you want to um, want to go into shore right there? We'll just sure. release him there? Yeah, we'll just put in there. Right on. We've got a beautiful fish here. Like, uh, my heart's still pounding. Great take, good fight. I mean, he was peeling line. But these bull trout, you know, they're, they're not an acrobatic fish at all. They don't jump. They... Uh, just bulldog straight down and you can see this fish even when we had him close to the boat hey chad he just yeah. wanted to bury his nose straight down so we just wanted to take him in here to, to give him a little bit of time to uh revive, revive and to release him and this is my personal bass bull trout it's a beautiful fish man i can't uh, can't wait to get a quick shot of him and we'll watch this fish swim away look at the colors on that fish just gorgeous man oh yeah oh Oh, geez. Nice male. Just a pretty, pretty fish right there. And he's still, obviously, you can tell he's got a lot of energy, but look at the big mouth on him. Just big predatory fish, man. These things hammering kokanee and fry and absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this guy's ready to go on his way here. We'll uh, let him do his thing. He's got lots of energy. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Right on, that's so cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. Awesome. That was nice. That was great. It oh, felt, man. I bet you felt really good well, in that You could current, tell right you know away. I mean? And then yeah. watching that rod tip, and he didn't want to come up. Right, right. No, yeah. he, I mean, you can tell like a nice fish right away. He's, he just was sulking, right? Yeah. In my mind, I'm thinking it might be even bigger, you know what I mean? Just because of that current and stuff right. like that. But that's a healthy fish. He's a thick fish. Yeah. That was awesome. And fun on the uh, on the mooching reel. Yeah. Okay? No, I love the single action. Islander reels, they, you know what I mean? It's just, it's fishing. It's just, it's yeah. a sport, right? Like it, I, it, It's more challenging. It is. But it, I, I, I personally find it more satisfying or, or gratifying yeah. when yeah, you use you're playing it more. Like and yeah. you just, yeah. That, was, that was cool. That awesome. was awesome, man. What a fish. So we were fishing with large Gibbs Delta five-inch spoons, a variety of different styles and, and colors. And the key is adding weight to your main line in order to get your lure basically bouncing off the bottom of the river. That's the zone where these fish hang out. So finding these depressions and also finding structure in the river is all key because they use the structure obviously to hide and then they ambush their, their prey. I found if we were too far off the bottom of the river, we weren't getting much action, but as soon as you got that lure bouncing, it was game on. Fishing with Chad is like fishing with an encyclopedia of knowledge. He's a lifelong, outdoor enthusiast you know just his passion for being out on the water and he's an avid photographer it's really enlightening he's just his, his demeanor he's he's so laid back 
One thing that Chad's super passionate about and wanted to kind of show me or explain to me was his love of foraging for mushrooms, and I was all over it. Something I've wanted to do for a couple of years, I just haven't done it. So uh, I feel super fortunate and lucky to be able to go into the bush with a guy who is as knowledgeable as Chad. So we pulled over for a quick lunch and went up into the bush to look for mushrooms. I'll look for this type of soil. It's almost like an ash. It's kind of sandy base, but um, once you, this is kind of growing this way, people sometimes can't distinguish between a fake, you know, uh, pine mushroom, but here's your tall tail. And then if you smell it, hmm. it smells like cinnamon or yeah. people say dirty socks. I don't know. But, Interesting. We'll go with cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. But this one got hit by a worm, but, and you feel it, it's not cracking. That means the worm hasn't gone down in between and making like a tunnel, you know, but this one's it's in good shape. a pretty healthy one if you want. Really? Yeah. So this one here, this is a, a white chanterelle. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice cluster pretty, there, hey? Nice flesh on it. Oh yeah, look at them. Just peel right off. Yeah. Now we we'll just dig it around. And, dig around it? Yeah. It might be loose enough now. That, oh, there you go. There you go. There it is. Yep. It's a decent cluster of mushrooms there, hey? Yeah. Biggest bull trout today. Biggest cluster of mushrooms ever. <laughs> and first. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's a living off the land right there, hey? I mean, exactly. After mushroom picking, it was time to get back on the water and see if we could have some more success targeting these bull trout in a couple of the areas that we already had hookups. There it is. Oh. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, there it is. Or oh, that's a snake. Oh. I'm gonna have a heart attack on this boat. Like every time I look out of the corner of my eye, I see the rod doing that and I'm leaping up to try and catch it. Oh man. But that's the zone we gotta be in, right? No, like exactly. these fish. You know, they're they they're they're down on the bottom. Yeah. Right? Feel it? Yeah. <laughs> I scared you. Oh, he's a head shaker. Did he? Oh, yeah. Oh, just head shaking. Yeah. Come on. Right out in the flats here. Oh, I know. That's why it's hey? nice here, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's coming right at us. Oh, get on him. We're good. good. Oh, yeah. Always oh, a nice fish again, dude. Oh, oh. You let me know if you want me to shut the motor off, okay? Strong fish. Like, he gets head shaking in this. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's quite as big as that other one we just landed, but still a beauty. Look at him back there. Yeah, he's nice. Hey, just nice. Oh, he's longer. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Another nice. beauty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> nice. Man, they're like big average fish in here. Yeah. Here, I got the net. Got the net. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. There. Got her? Yeah. Perfect. Another beautiful fish. Huh. Just the colors, man. They're just spectacular. Gosh, thick shoulders again, eh? Healthy mm -hmm. fish. Yeah. Beautiful colors, man. Gosh. Oh, he's ready to go, eh? Yeah. Get him back in. Another beauty. Look at that fish. A great take again. Thick fish, eh? Yeah, she. She's nice and thick, eh? Pretty female, hey? Yeah. Yeah, she's ready to go. I like the nice colors on the bottom. Yeah. A little bit along the line so pretty. There. Ready? Thank you. Oh, 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 oh nice. yeah. Yeah, Thanks. buddy. That was Good awesome. Oh. Oh. Couldn't ask for a better first day fishing on the Columbia River. It truly was a, a learning experience for me. And we had some very cooperative fish today. and. Just some amazing, amazing fights and just violent takes, great battles, strong fish, and I mean, it, it was absolutely magnificent.
It's the next morning, and I know Chad is super eager to get out there again, and so am I. So as soon as the first light hit, we launched the boat and we started fishing. Fish on! Just switched up here to that bigger gator. We got whacked right away. Oh, there's the weight. Oh, oh it's a nice it's fish, a nice dude. Fish, huh? oh. In the net, fish on, nice. fish in. Look at that, right? That's a thick fish. Yeah, hey? nice. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, buddy. Nice. He's got a kokanee come out of his Hanging mouth. out of his mouth, a big kokanee. We'll show you that here in a second. That's cool, hey? Look at that yeah. thing. Wow. That's nice. All right, great start to the morning here. Nice fish, probably about six pounds, but it's full of energy still, but I'm gonna show you what was in this fish's mouth. So that fish had this kokini in its mouth when it ate the spoon. That's unbelievable. Oh, that's a nice fish. Man. Nice fish here. Beauty. He's ready to go. Oh, gone like a rocket. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, talk that nice, about eh? like, like seriously, that kokini is a 12 inch kokini hanging out of his yeah. mouth. That was huge. That was wild King's to see. Day. Like those, that thing was on the feed right now. Yeah. There was a scenic waterfall a little bit further down the river, which is one of Chad's favorite spots on the river. So we pulled in to enjoy our surroundings, got a campfire going, and had some lunch in this beautiful setting. Campfires are one of my favorite things in the world. I love them. You know, everything tastes better at the campfire. The conversation is always great around the campfire. And when you look back and think about trips that you've done or places you've been, it's those moments around the campfire that always seem to stand out. People ask me, why do you like fishing so much? Why do you like being outdoors? And I, I tell people it's kind of like a meditation, right? You get outside, you kind of disconnect from that kind of hustle and bustle of every day, and yeah. it just kind of clears the mind. Yeah, no, it's true. I, that's one of the biggest reasons I go out, you know what I mean? Just it's fun of catching fish, but just to get away from everything and makes you realize what you have and how good you have it. Yeah, exactly. After an awesome lunch, it's time to head back out on the water to see if we can get another bull trout. Fish? Yeah, dude, that's a fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fish. He's on, oh, it's a big fish, Chad. Okay, That's a big fish. Okay. I saw his tail back there. Oh my, I'm sweating bullets now. Dude, I saw that tail come up. That's a big fish. Man, I'm like a kid right now, dude. Like my heart is doing 180 right now. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, I don't want to pour some too much, but. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, I saw, dude, he hammered that thing. That looks like a lake trout. How big that thing is. Like, honestly, I wish you could take my uh, heart rate right now. <laughs> my heart's about to jump out of my chest. Oh, what a beautiful fish on the, on the oh, G4 shit. spoon here. Man, he absolutely slammed that thing. And I, like I said, I saw him come up and thrash at the surface, and I saw his tail. I'm like, I could tell right away it was a big fish, and then uh, the heart just started racing. Yeah. But you called that, heading back up there. You know, we, we were in tight to the rocks here, where you've done very well over the years, yeah. obviously. And we said, did you see that slot there? I'm like, yeah, it looked good. She said, let's push out that a little nice bit here in a little bit shallower water. So, yeah. and we got some cooperation. It was nice, because like we didn't just concentrate on the one side. Yeah. So we just talked about, you know, like, tote, they, they do like a 180, right? So we figured, keep moving out he was right on that ledge like i was watching my line as soon as it came off that ledge and hit that slot he hammered it man incredible what this is a beautiful specimen this shows the quality of fish in this river <laughs> well let's get him to shore and and uh i know we could release him here but i think it'd be cool to bring him in there and get a nice little picture of him that no i want to get a good picture cool of him, that's your pb man <laughs> that's a personal bass right there what a phenomenal trip this was fishing on the columbia river in revelstoke I mean, this trip was well worth the wait. Amazing fish to catch. These bull trout, so aggressive, such great fighters, and such beautiful fish when you bring them to hand. I really enjoyed 
everything about this trip. Anytime I get a chance to go out on the water and learn from guys like Chad, I really do appreciate it. I know he's passionate about what he does, and for him to be able to share that with me, I'm very appreciative. A huge thank you to Sutton Place Hotel Revelstoke Mountainside for the amazing accommodations. It really is a, a healthy, healthy fishery on the Columbia River here. Lots of bull trout here. They're in an area that they thrive with cool water, big river, good current, great structure. All those things combine to make it a bull trout paradise.